Hey guys, it's Romeo here again with another video. This time it's actually only audio, so I guess you wouldn't call it a video, you would call it an audio. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, this time I am here to talk about a couple pieces of art I have picked out specially for you guys. I hope you find these pieces of art as interesting as I do. Okay, first let's start with a little intro, if I may, after those Middle Ages, which apparently were so awful, people in Europe started to enjoy more creative things such as science, art, philosophy, etc., etc. Uh, this time period, which we are now in, is referred to as the Renaissance, which even sounds much better than the Middle Ages. Art has significantly improved, going from old tempera paintings, which look very flat and boring, to oil on wood paintings, which add much more depth and texture to the painting. Leonardo da Vinci made very fine use of oil paint on wood in his painting The Mona Lisa, but more on that later. I'd like to start with Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. In this beautiful tempera mural, da Vinci depicts Christ at the Last Supper with his twelve apostles. The moment that the painting captures is said to be the time when his apostles are all reacting to the moment when he announces that one of them will betray him. It also could be interpreted as the moment where Christ says, Take this bread, for this is my body. Take this wine, for this is my blood. As Christ is reaching for the wine and the bread. Everyone could be reacting to that moment as well. Judas, the one who will betray Christ, is reaching out to a bowl near the wine that Christ is reaching for, while at the same time leaning away from Christ while holding the 30 pieces of silver he was paid by the Romans to betray Christ. There is so much detail and thought put into this painting, and so much is going on that it's hard to take everything in at once. You really have to take your time to analyze each bit of the mural, especially since it is 30 feet long. We could talk about The Last Supper forever, but we have to keep moving on if we don't want this video to be 100 hours long. Not video. Audio. Right. You can't see me. The next piece of artwork I like to focus on is Michelangelo's David. It is, in my opinion, the most impressive piece of artwork in the world. The marble statue is so detailed and resembles the human body so realistically and beautifully, you have to wonder if it's just a real-life person turned to stone. That wouldn't really be possible, though, since the statue is 17 feet tall. Anyways, I just wanted to display to you guys the amazing talent and craftsmanship it had to take to make this amazing piece of art. It is truly magnificent. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what the statue is about. Okay, so the statue is of David, who killed the giant Goliath, with just a slingshot and a single rock. And help from God, of course. Like The Last Supper, I could go on and on about this work of art, but we have to move on. The last work of art I'd like to show you is small. It's only about two and a half feet long, but it is rather impressive. This is Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. It is an oil on wood painting. Da Vinci's use of the oil paint really adds texture and depth to the painting. He also uses a technique called sfumato, which means he uses smokiness and haziness to cover the painting, which hides all the hard lines and gives more realistic depth to the piece. It also creates a sense of dark mysteriousness, especially with the mysterious smile of the woman. You never really know if she's happy or sad, amused or contemplating. This is why it remains such an interesting painting and why I chose it, even though it isn't very popular at the moment. I have a feeling, however, that people will really start to talk about this painting more and more, though, as the years go on, discussing its mysterious story. Well, I hope you enjoyed this miniature showcase of different pieces of art I had for you today. I find these works very interesting, and hopefully you do too. That's all for today, but there will be more to come on the channel. Remember to like and subscribe. With that, I bid thee farewell. Remember to like and subscribe, and maybe we'll have Benvolio do an uncomfortable dance in front of all of you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Ooh, or maybe a Juliet versus Tybalt sword fight. That would be cool. We used to practice when I was young. Whatever.